so welcome to this video this is lecture number 63 already 63 lecture covered the supplementary problem solution of the vector analysis by Evans Pyle you know this book is very important for physics as well as for mathematics that's why we decided to solve the supplementary problem of this book this book is also important for IIT jam examination okay in this video we want to solve the supplementary problem 6.64 which uh, chapter 6 which consists divergence strokes and related integral theorem mainly Gins theorem so let's start with problem 6.64 says that verify Stokes theorem for this force. This is force given where S is the surface of the region bounded by x equal to 0, y equal to 0, z equal to 0. That is the three uh, plane. x equal to 0 means yz plane, y equal to 0 means xz plane and so on. And this uh, is a straight line uh, which is not, uh, this is a equation of plane which is not include the xz plane. Okay. So just draw the curve just I want to draw the curve this is x axis this is y axis this is z axis in the x equal to 0 plane mean this plane this plane is x equal to 0 y equal to 0 million means this plane is y equal to 0 and this plane is z equals to 0 right and the plane equation on x equal to 2 this so if you write 2x plus y plus 2z is equals to 8 right so by intersecting form you can write x by 4 plus y by 8 plus plus z by 4 is equals to 1 that means at x equal to 4 they intersect at y equal to 4 uh, sorry x equal y equal to 8 the intersect and z equal to 4 the intersect so if you want to draw so this is the lines okay so this is z equals to 4 this is x equal to 4 and this is y equal to 8 and the plane o oh, are the this uh, the, the plane is this this is the plane clear this is the plane okay so you need to find out the loop that is around that path and you need to find out on the surface this is the curve and this is the loop so this is path one i can take this is path one this is path two and this is path three you know the stokes theorem very well stokes theorem says stokes theorem says theorem says the closed integral of any vector within a closed curve is equivalent to the surface integration of curl of this vector which consists the loop of this vector so at first we need to find out this this closed integral or along this path so we need to find out along the path one if you say along the path one you can see here y is zero y is zero means dy zero right and x is changed from x is changed from x is changed from zero to four and z is changed from four to zero okay in this path this is dr change so if you want to find a dot dr what is the value of a dot dr if you dot with this dr means i cap dx plus j cap dy plus k cap dz so this becomes xz dx minus y dy plus x square y dz right so if you put dy zero that means this term will be zero only these two term are present right these two term are present okay and if you put y equals to 0 so this becomes 0 and since y equals to 0 so this is also 0 so the integration will be a dot dr for path 1 gives you x z dz okay so if you want to sorry dx x z dx so i want to change the z value because the equation of this line is nothing but x by 4 plus y by 4 is equals to 1 sorry x by 4 plus z by 4 equals to 1 so x plus z equals to 4 z equals to 4 minus <coughs> sorry 
4 minus x dx x change from 0 to 2. So, this is 4x minus x square dx 0 to 2. So, this is 2x square minus x cube by 3 0 to 2. So, this is uh, 8 minus 8 by 3 this is square oh sorry sorry this is 0 to 4 this is 0 to 4 right so 32 32 minus 64 by 3 that is give you 32 by 3 so the value of integration along the path 1 is 32 by 3 go to the next path path through for path through path through in this path you can see the equation is x by 4 y by 8 right so x by 4 plus y by 8 is equals to 1 so this is 8x plus 4y is nothing but 8 sorry 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 uh, 2x plus y equals to 8 <coughs> this is the equation and in this plane z is 0 in this plane z is 0 so dz will also 0 okay and the change of uh, x is 0 to uh, sorry x is 4 to 0 or y is 0 to 8 so y change from 0 to 8 so the integration of path through a dot dr is nothing but the dz term will be 0 dz term will be 0 this two term xz dx minus y dz xz xz dx minus y dz are present since z is 0 so this become 0 only this term are present y dy so minus y dy and the y range from 0 to 8 so this becomes is y square by 2 that is 8 square by 2 that is nothing but minus 32 <laughs> this is path Two. for part 3 so for part 3 in this path you can see the y value and the z value represent so this will gives you uh, z by 4 plus y by 8 is equals to 1 so this is 2z plus y is equals to 8 and the x is here 0 so dx also 0 and y changes from 8 to 0 right y changes from 8 to 0 so the integration 3 a dot dr a dot dr is nothing but in the same manner you got xz dx minus y dy right so if you put the value of x uh, here uh, uh, 0 here value of x is 0 so this becomes 0 only you got y dy and the limit will be 0 to 8 not 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 8 to 0 so you will got minus 8 square by 2 so this is nothing but plus 32 so the total path integral so the total path integral or the closed integral will be uh, first one was the 32 by 3 32 by 3 second one minus 32 third one plus 32 so you will got the integral value closed integral of line integral value will be 32 by 3 so in the left hand side we got 33 by 2 so you need to find out the right hand side for that you need to uh, calculate the curl of a so now curl of a what is the value of curl of a curl of a is nothing but i cap j cap k cap del del x del del y del del z and <coughs> coefficient of a vector are this xz minus y x square y so xz minus y x square y so this is nothing but i cap del del y of this this is the x square del del z of this this is 0 plus j cap uh, del del z of this this is x minus del del x of this minus 2 x y plus k cap del del x of this 0 del del y is 0 so 0 minus 0 so you will got x square i cap plus x minus 2 x y j cap this is the curl of a okay so we got curl of a now you need to find out the n cap dx means the n cap ds 
so what is the value of n cap so n cap is nothing but n cap is nothing but grad phi of grad phi modulus of grad phi since the equation was uh, 2x plus y plus 2z equation of the plane was this so phi is nothing but 2x plus y plus 2z minus a right so grad phi is nothing but uh, i cap derivative so 2i cap j cap 2k cap and mod of grad phi is nothing but root under 2 square is 4 1 square 1 2 square 4 that is 9 that is 3 so n cap will be 1 by 3 2 i cap plus j cap plus 2 k cap so we got n cap now you need to find out the dot product that is the curl of a dot n cap curl of a dot n cap if you dot the curl of a with n cap you will got one third that is 2 x square and j cap is the uh, x minus x minus 2 x y okay so we got the value that is 2 x square plus x minus 2 x y right so if we want to integrate the uh, along the curl of a dot n cap if you put here dx dy so you need to dot with k cap there is i cap j cap k cap so you can dot with anyone curl of a of this this value will be one third 2x square plus x minus 2xy and dx dy is here and the uh, if we dot n cap with k cap we got two third right so three or uh, three cancel out and you will got x square by 2 plus x by 2 minus xy x is two, 2 to cancel out so x square plus x by 2 into x minus xy dx dy up to the <coughs> from up to that point i think clear so what is the limit of y so we got the relation that is x square plus x by 2 minus xy right dx dy what is the limit of y what is the limit of y what is the limit of y <laughs> the y since the equation was since the equation was 2x plus y plus 2z is equals to 8 so we put z equals to 0 so the equation 2x plus y equal to 8 so y is 8 minus 2x the limit of y is this and the limit of x will be if you put x0 y0 so x will be 4 okay so the limit of y is nothing but 0 to 8 by 2 and x equal to 0 to so if we integrate with respect to y you got x square y plus x by 2 y minus x y square by 2 and the limit of the y will be 0 to 8 minus 2 x that into dx put the value of y that is 8 minus 2 x uh, plus x by 2 uh, 8 minus 2 x minus x by 2 8 minus 2 x so that's whole square x equal to 0 to 4 so just uh, multiply this one you got 8x square minus 2x square and this will gives you 4x minus x square minus x by 2 and whole square is 64 uh, minus 32x plus 4x square right dx x equal to 0 to 4 so this is 8x square minus 7x square no 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 this is cube so minus 2x is cube plus 4x and this becomes you 32x plus 16x square minus 2x cube this is x equal to 0 to then integrate uh, with respect to x you got 7 uh, or not to just rearrange this 
minus 2 x square minus 4 x square so this is integration minus 4 x square and x square is uh, 16 7 that is 23 23 x square and the x will be um, four, minus 28 minus 28 x dx and the range of x will be range of x will be 0 to 4 so you will got x to the 4 by 4 that is the x to the power 4 plus 23 by 3 x is q minus 14 x square and the limit will be 0 to 4 so this is nothing but minus 4 to the power 4 plus 23 by 3 into 4 q minus 14 into 4 square just calculate this you will got 20, 32 by 3 okay so from the left hand side you got the value 33 by 2 and the right hand side also you got the same value so this stokes theorem is valid stokes theorem is valid okay so the stokes theorem is valid that's it uh, this is all about me this is my contact details. you can contact with me by the whatsapp regarding any physics related question this is my youtube channel details go to this channel you get the videos which already uploaded share this video to your friends so that he or she get benefit from this video subscribe to this channel if you new in this channel press the bell icon to get the notification i will be give the new video in this channel thank you take care we will meet in the next video